Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.StampinUp.net and welcome to my craft room. In just a moment we're going to make this adorable card. I wanted just to let you know that this week I've been working with the spots and dots because it makes the most wonderful polka dots I think on a card and I love polka dots. But this item now is on the celebration list. This is one big die you can get for free with a $50 order from Stampin' Up. It is one huge die and you can get that for free. There's silver foil there also. I sent an email out yesterday. Please check your emails if you're signed up to my email list. And I showed all the pictures and gave you the product numbers and everything so that if you order you can add the new product to your um, order if you would like. Um, and then with a $35 order I will send you a stack of designer series paper for the holidays. Some is not holidays, and most, but most of it is. And um, I thought that you guys would love to play with some designer series paper, of course. Everybody does, right? All right. Um, so this card is, oh, and here is my host code. I'm sorry. Here's my host code for August if you place an order. And there it is at stampinginthevalley.stampinup.net. There is a link below to my online store. Just click it. It'll take you right there so you can place your order. I'm using polished pink. My base is polished pink, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. The inside, I used the scallop contour. I loved the way that it scalloped because it reminded me of this little wave here. So I kind of wanted to pick up that little vibe with that. Look at these little retro flowers. I even glued them on the outside of the envelope. They will do just fine. They're glued down nicely. You could also use adhesive sheet if you'd like to. But this looks so cute, right? And I needed some birthday cards. So I also, what I did was I used my favorite go-to greeting stamp set for sentiments. I love the fonts. I say this all the time. They have the four of the most used um, sentiments that I ever use, and I love all, all um, three of the fonts that they have it in. So I've used the go-to greetings for the inside. And, of course, the hippiest hippos. Isn't that sweet? I use this one right here. And look at these dies. There's a lot in here. There's a snorkel, there's um, the boat, there's a little wash tub, three hippos, splashes, greenery, uh, life preserver, sunglasses. There's a lot here that you can do with, okay? And look at these three little hearts. They're so pretty. I almost did those, in, but I like the splash instead on this one because I went that she was sailing the coastal cabana ocean there that's what that is this is polished pink and coastal cabana and I fell in love with these flowers so that's why I have a pile of them cut over here we're just going to decorate from what I have let's go ahead and start stamping um, so well let's talk about the measurements uh, polished pink is the base eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter the inside is I've used a scallop contour dies the outside is a piece of basic white um, five and a quarter by four and I ran it through the dots and spots embossing folder. I got my nice border around here and I have polka dots. Then I have a piece of polished pink, three and a half by two and a half, and a piece of basic white, three and a quarter by two and a quarter. So that I get my nice little border and she looks so sweet, right? I didn't want to cover up any of the polka dots. I think this came out so cute. Okay, so here's the inside of the card with the scallop contour die. And we'll go ahead and stamp happy birthday. Again, from Go To Greetings in Polish Pink. Let me see if I can get this straight. I'm on the side of the camera, and I'm sorry if I hit it and it's shaking. Oh, we did good. Okay. Now, I'm going to put just two little flowers here, a, a large blue one and a small pink one. Let's put that inside. I'm just going to use some Tombow, but like I said, you could have run this through your machine with some adhesive sheets and made a sticker out of them and just peeled it off and stuck it down. But this is really simple too. Just going to stick that one right there. And we'll get this little one right here. And stick this one down. Kind of putting it out there on the puddles too. Just to hold them down. Okay. Just two because then that gives me a trio with the uh, sentiment and the the um, flowers. Okay, let's go ahead and attach this to the inside of the card. Then we'll work on our envelope. I was really happy they added more items. There's the gold metallic cardstock. Um, 
brushed metallic, I should say. I'm doing this off the top of my head. There's silver foil. There's embossing folders. There's the gingham embossing folder. There's this die. There's other dies, too. Um, some of them with a $50 order, some with a $100 order. And in fact, um, I don't know if that die right there, this is with a $100 order. Okay, let me correct myself on that. I'm not sure if it's 100 or 50. In my email, I broke it out and showed everything to you. Okay, so um, yeah, I might have misspoke right at the beginning there. That is probably with a $100 order now that I'm thinking about it. Because it is a die. So... Now let's go ahead and put this on the outside here. And this is so simple. Just a little Tombow weaved around here. Then they have some craft boxes. Those always make good gifts, especially around the holidays, right? Or if you are doing a craft show. Okay, it would be a good time to load up on those for your show because you get them for free right so that would be fun look at how pretty that makes that immediately just the dots i love it i just love that okay now let's move this aside for a minute here and i've already colored my little hippo i used my smoky slate blends and my polished pink of course she got a mani pedi and she cute i'm going to cover up her pedi though i colored her before I was thinking about how to um, do this. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. Now let's talk about this die right here. This die, if you put, if you cut it, okay, here, let's just say you put it on here and cut it, it's still attached to the paper, okay? Now the way that I got a nice straight border here is I just took the die and I took it to the edge here that's very straight. And let's see, how, what is the measurement of this piece? This should be... Yeah, like three and a quarter, okay? So this is three and a quarter. Well, just what my um, my basic white is. It's three and a quarter. And I'm going to bring the mini in. And then I'm going to just show you how simple. I've already got one cut. But I'm just going to put this to the edge, okay? I'm going to need a little washi tape on this because I'm going to put it to the edge. Close as I can get it without wiggling it around, right? Let's see here right to the edge of that paper and you know they're in the middle of our little piece I'm going to washi tape that down and this way then you don't really have to cut it out and you don't have to worry about cutting it out straight so let me, ju I just wanted to show this to you with this die look at that let me pull my washi tape off okay so it's still attached okay but you have a straight edge for um, what we're going to do today. And then I just took my scissors right here and I just followed that line and just cut it on that angle. Just like that. And that's how I got that. Now you can make your wave thicker. Just move um, your die from your straight edge. Move it up a little bit. Make it thicker if you need to attach it to something and then just cut off the edges, okay? But remember, this was three and a quarter inches. So I just wanted to show that little bit to you about this die, because sometimes it's like, well, I gotta put this here and then cut that, but I kind of found a way to get a nice straight edge on it. All right, let's move that aside. And now let's go ahead and have some fun. Here's my basic white. I'm gonna move in my little mat here because I don't like to get glue on my surface too much, although I do. And I'm going to go ahead and take this piece with some Tombow. Tombow is my, my glue. It's what I like. A lot, some people use snail or um, seal. I almost called it snail, right? <laughs> we used to have it called snail. Um, some people like seal. Just use whatever glue that you like. And I'm just going to place this right here at the bottom of that little page or that little page that little piece <laughs> three and a quarter by two and a quarter just like that so that makes our wave isn't that cute now i'm going to take my little boat actually i'm going to take my little hippo here and i'm going to put her right about here with her ear sticking up and then our little boat will go like that so yes i want her off the wave and i'm going to just put her down with some tombow right here at the bottom and I'm just going to pick her up just like that. 
And then I'm going to put two dimensionals here on the back of this little boat. So stinking cute. Just a couple dimensionals. And I'm going to put the little boat in an angle. Like she's riding the waves, right? Like it's, that's so cute. Look how sweet. All right, now I want to put my little flowers. I need a little pink and a big blue is what I did on the other one. Now I'm going to use the glue dots because they're very thin and very small from my paper pumpkin. And this is absolutely fantastic to use right here. Look how cute. I'm going to put the large flower right here and then the little one right here. Oop, I'm sorry, I touched the camera again. So sorry. Okay. Now what I have now is good placement. So I want to go ahead and put love you a ton. I was afraid to stamp this because I was afraid I was going to be in the way of my little hippo and her boat. So now we can choose where to stamp this. I'm going to come right about here. Love you a ton. Cute. Okay. Now I'm going to take the take your pick tool and my, um, I already cut out my splashes. And I'm going to pick my splash up and I'm going to put down, I did it again, I hit the camera with, with my glasses, so sorry. Um, I'm going to put my dot of glue right here and I'm going to place that down. Okay, then I'm going to take the medium one, let me flip this around. And I'm going to have that little splash up. It doesn't matter how you put your splashes. They're going to look cute any way you do them. And then this one, little one. I love the, the sticky part at the end of this Take Your Pick tool. I could get that off my finger. Right? <laughs> put that right there. Bring that over. And let's put this one right about here. See, I put my glue down first. And I put my splash right into it, right? Cool. Okay, let's go ahead and um, I already cut my umbrella out of polished pink and I'll just put a couple of dots there just a little bit because it's going to hang off at the top of the card and she's going to be holding the umbrella because of the splashes of the sea right it's so cute adorable let me drop this down just a little bit in her little hand okay like it there good perfect and we have our flowers, and she is just adorable. What an adorable little scene, right? Now we're going to back that onto the polished pink because we have the white, the basic white on the front of the card. So we want this to stand out. Here we have our nice little border, and this polished pink piece is three and a half by two and a half. So cute. Cute little birthday card today, right? using our dots and spots. I'm really happy that they did that. I was amazed. But like I say, I really do believe it is with a $100 order. Let's go right there. But then again, you might already have the... It was new in the annual catalog, is that die was new. And I really, really liked it. Because I love embossing folders, but sometimes I want something a little bit different. Let me bring my card base in here. And I'm going to place this in the center right here of my card. Cute. Okay, let me get my envelope in here and start to decorate from there. Let me take a large pink We'll just use what I have left over here. And I'm going to put these on the outside of the envelopes. And a small blue. Sometimes if you get enough glue on the end of your fingers, you become the take your pick tool. You can become your own take your pick tool. <laughs> just by being sticky. <laughs> and then here. 
and then it looks like I have three large ones for the back. I didn't want to have any left over, so we'll go ahead and use those because it cuts the die cuts two out at a time. So we'll do that. And now we'll put the pink one in the middle. And like I said, this again, you could put adhesive sheets on the back of here um, and do this also. Cute as could be, right? I like these little flowers. They look real retro. I never thought when I was growing up in the 70s that my generation would be called retro, but it is. All right, there we go there. Let's go ahead and move in some opal rounds. This was the only embellishment that I thought about for this card because it, they look bubbly, right? So I'm going to use the smaller ones, which even the smaller ones are pretty large, but I think they go really well with these dots. And then these are iridescent. So what color that they're around, they kind of pick up a little bit of the color. Like here it'll pick up a little bit of pink, but here it'll pick up a little bit of the Coastal Cabana, which is really cute. And I'm going to use five of these guys. Put one up here. Just like there's bubbles all around her. So cute, right? There we go. Here's our card for today. I hope you've enjoyed my little... Um, all my cards with my dots and spots. Let me get the one I did yesterday and show you the difference just by changing color in a stamp set. Wow. I mean, this is like night and day, right? I use the sending smiles. I use the spots and dots in pool party and parakeet party right here. And then this is polished pink and the hippos. Really stinking cute cards came out I really like these dots and spots because I love, if you love polka dots, you're going to love this die. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Please go to your happy space and do some happy crafting. I'll see you Sunday night at 7 on my Facebook channel, and I'll be live. And I don't know yet what we're going to be creating, but we'll create something wonderful. So I hope to see you then. Have a wonderful day.